Holy shit, talk about sleeping in. It's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, for sakes. I went to bed last night at 3 o'clock in the evening. Or, no, that's not right. 3, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's better. <laughs> so, friggin' hell, like, 12 hours of sleep, what's going on with me, eh? Oh, I know what it was. I took the red pill. Yeah, I took the, uh, the pink allergy pill here. This shit just knocks me on my ass. Knocks my ass on its ass, even. It's pretty good. But, um... I haven't been relying on allergy pills too much lately. I haven't had to. It's been pretty good. But uh, a lot of you were right out there about the smoking cigarettes and how it was. That's what was causing my allergies to be all friggin' nutty foo foo. Since I quit smoking cigarettes, my allergies have somewhat come into check, and that's pretty good because it's friggin' drier than hell out right now. It's well, what's the temperature right now? Last night it was minus 21 when I went to bed. Minus 22 and a few clouds. Minus 20 friggin' two people. Holy shit. Oh, and apparently my, bo my boss texted for overtime. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh well, that just, that just sucks. So apparently the only person who went into work today was uh, my co-worker who's been off for two months on uh, release, on doctor's release. Apparently everybody else called him sick. <laughs> well, shit. No wonder why my boss was friggin' texting both me and Bruce asking either one of us to come in for overtime. They had nobody. You know, we've been talking about this at work for a while, about how this has been happening and stuff. And we've suggested, why don't we hire, like, maybe two part-time guys, just two part-timers, to work when we need the coverage. You know, uh, next year, I have four weeks of holidays. Uh, I believe Bruce has four weeks of holidays. I believe, I think everybody from Bruce up has four weeks of holidays. And that's eight people. So that's 32 weeks out of 56 weeks where somebody will not be in the office, you know? Um, yeah, that's going to be kind of hectic. So that's 32 weeks where we could have a part-timer in there. And we could even use the part-timer for doing the shit work too, like testing modems. Fuck, I hate doing that. But um, we could have the part-timers do that too. And we brought it up to work, and they shot it down faster than I've ever seen. Like, they're like, no, that's a stupid idea. Forget it. We're not getting a part-timer. So we're like, okay, well, whatever. You know, we thought we'd bring it up. And that way there, you know, when shit hits the fan, there's no struggling. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. Freak sakes, I'm still tired. I need a coffee. It's too late for a coffee. I'll just go pick up a Hortons on my way to work. Frick it. Yeah, they don't want to consider even getting a part-timer, so. But it's like when situations like this arise, like today, there's supposed to be four, should have been four people on. Yeah, there should have been easily four people working today. Uh, I know one guy's on holiday, so three people. So I guess the other two called in sick, because the one guy asked me if he would swap me days for nights. I said no, because I friggin' hate working day shifts. If I don't have to work, I don't want to work. And uh, I said no. And then I guess he just said screw it and called him sick. There you go. Oh well. You know one thing this Christmas has showed me? A lot of people get married. A lot of people got married. A lot of my friends are in getting engaged. Like I got a lot of female friends that are like doing the whole showing the ring and get the ring on the finger and they're like, ah, oh, it's a pity. And then they got a bunch of the guys being like, Well, I did it people. I dropped the bomb. I asked her to marry me and she said yes. And that's it. You know, the guys are like, that's it. You know, asked her to marry me, she says yes. And the girls are like, oh my god, ring! Anybody got a Pinterest account? Let's get a Pinterest going and plan out, like, how to make napkins and shit for the wedding. And it's like, wow. So it's like, I look at this and I'm like, so a wedding is not for the guy, obviously. It's like a totally for the, all about the woman. All about the woman. You know, they're the ones who do all the planning and, you know... I've never seen, I don't know if women want guys to get involved in the wedding, like to plan, or if they just want him to, you know, frig off and go play Xbox all year while they do all the work and plan it all out because they want their special day to be their day. I don't know, but judging from what I'm seeing on Facebook, the guys don't really do anything. Like, they don't, the women don't want them around to plan the weddings. And, uh, like, like even, like, the other thing I don't get is the diamond ring. Like, the pe people online are making, like, all these big fusses about the rings. Like, oh, my bling bling. I can't wait to look at you again. Oh, my God, you're so pretty. And, and uh, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is look at my ring and go, I love that guy, and I'm like, you love the guy because he bought you in a really expensive friggin' diamond covered ring? Like, huh, if that's all it takes to get somebody to love you, then, uh, I got two words for you. A gold a digger, just saying. But, like, oh man, <laughs> the weddings are, I can't believe how many of my friends are getting married this year, and the different reactions from both genders, you know? Like, men are like, yeah, I did it. Women are like, woo! Let's get planning, man.
make some birdie napkins. Where are we going to get the wine from? What are we going to have for dinner? Where are we going to have the wedding? And the guys are like, yeah, I'm getting married. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's hilarious. It's, uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe you guys probably didn't realize that it was like that, or maybe you have your own experiences. I don't know, but frig sakes. I'm going through Facebook and I'm seeing shit like this and I, I just can't stop laughing because it's like the girls are just balls deep about it and the guys are like, yep, yeah, get married. <laughs> Whatevs. Well, I fired up the car. I gotta remember to grab my laptop because it's coming back to work with me. We are going to have to head off to work now. Yeah, off to work. A little bit of rearranging last night in the living room. So my, my webcam people were just, oh my god, you're gonna so, so cute. Oh, it's a big stretch. Oh, it's a big stretch. Hi. Did I just wake you up? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh you like that, eh? You like getting the side pets. It's, uh... Oh, freak sakes. I plugged in my battery pack that Dad gave me for Christmas. This uh, Mastercraft thingy. Fully charged. He told me to plug a lamp into it, so I was thinking of plugging this lamp into it or something. And then drain it down to the floor and then recharge it. And it says it makes the battery last longer, so we'll give her a go. But for the fun, for, for the time being, I fired my chair over there in the corner instead of having it over here. Just so that the webcam can see the whole floor. And then I can see the cat, see the dog when they're when I'm at work and stuff. Because they usually hang out in here. And yeah, just moving shit around and, and shit. Uh... I want to get started on tonight, moving stuff out of the red room and into the bedroom. So gradually I can move my bed from the bedroom into the red room. Yeah. I've never seen a cat, so I'm infatuated about a dog dish in my life. Like, she goes in there, sometimes she cleans up because Oreo makes a mess when he eats. Other times she goes in there and she's like totally eating his kibble. Like, your stuff probably tastes like 1500 times better for you. Oh, Cookie Monster wants in. Good. Alrighty, will you guys behave? I gotta go to work. So, trying to be Dex. <laughs> Poor Oreo. <laughs> he goes in his crate to eat and then she just swats at him from above. Look at her. Oh, I don't know what the hell she's doing. I thought she was gonna try and fight with Oreo. But when he jumps, if he's jumping near me and she gets upset, she starts attacking his puffy tail. It's funny. But we gotta go to work. So, let's saddle up. We'll clear off the car. Doesn't look like snow on the car. It looks like ice, which this is not gonna be easy. Also gotta check that tire and make sure last night's flash freeze didn't cause the rim or whatever to uh, decide to sap, you know, sap itself and take all the air out of it. So, where the fuck is the cat? Oh, she's right there. She gets underneath my feet and I've stepped on her like 700 times already. All right, let's go. Going through the drive-thru, gonna get me a cup of coffee. Going through the drive-thru, gonna get me a cup of coffee. Yeah, I got myself an extra large Hortons. Because I need that can to wake the frig up. I'm wondering how many people are sick tonight. Hopefully Bruce came in so I don't have to be prime. Woo woo! You know, one of those. Woo woo. No? Huh. Oh. It's really hard to have suspension in a car when you got enough ice built up in your wheel well and you can't do anything about it. How? Oh, but anyway, yeah, I was talking about doing that red room bedroom switch. Where I put the bed in the red room and all my computer shit in the big room. And um, I, was, I was basically planning on it in the back end of my mind on what I was going to do to make it work. So my battle plan, and this is how it's going to go, is I need to take everything off that white desk in the red room. Everything has got to come off of it. And I'm going to pack it up into boxes and move it over into the bedroom. But first, before I do that, I need to get all those clothes, that all those dirty laundries and older clothes. I'm going to go through them, and whatever I don't want, I'm going to bag it. And if it's destroyed, I'm going to friggin' garbage it. Or if it's t-shirts, I'm going to rip them up into rags for shop. You know, shop rags, why not? But I'm going to clean up all that mess, and then I'm going to take all the stuff out of the red room and put it in uh, the bedroom. And then I'm also going to, um, I want to get the XPS 8300 in the bedroom. And I want to uh, basically set it up so that uh, it's on the other desk. And I have a plan on how to make that work. So that'd be alright. Holy fuck, I got a big transport beside me and I don't know if you can see me. I'm all powered to the throttle control. Those big transports scare the fuck out of me. Why do they scare the fuck out of me? Because sometimes people are so, who drive them are so anxious to get their job done, like not get their job done, but. They'll do things like 
take caffeine pills and stuff to stay awake longer so they can haul extra kilometers, you know? Or they'll haul oversized loads that aren't meant for their, their shit just so they can make that extra dollar. And it's like, for freak's sakes, when you do that, you know, when you're on caffeine pills trying to drive for an extra four hours out of your day just to make that extra time up, you're putting everybody out on the road at risk, so. That's why I've always been afraid of transport drivers, especially on the highway, because all you ever see on the side of the road on the highway is like the track area or the tread area of a tire. All you ever see on the side of the, of the highway is these giant unfolded treads. Makes you wonder what the hell happened to the sidewall and the rest of the tire. Luckily, I've never seen one blow. Bet you they're probably noisy when they go off too, when they pop a tire like that size. Just commit a doom, you know? It sounds like a freaking A bomb going off. Ah, oh, well, anyway. But yeah, back to the room. Uh, what I want to do is uh, start clearing off the white wall. Tonight I'm going to attack the, the bedroom and clear all that bullshit out of there. Probably saying what bullshit? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, there's a lot of bullshit in that, in that, uh, in all that laundry and shit. That needs to be cleared out. Like this weekend, it was mainly let's try and make my laptop useful and not useless. And I think I did that. So right on. Because mainly what I want to do is get all the computers into one room. All the rigs in one room, you know, whether it be laptops, desktops, fucking tablets, everything. And all I'm going to do is put one laptop in the room where I sleep, and that'll play movies while I sleep. Because I need sound when I'm sleeping. I can't go to bed without having a movie playing. It's just too eerie. I need the, the sound. I, that's a given. I've always been like that. My uh, old, old, old clock radio was one of those where, well, they all do this now, they play sleep. You can have them set to either do the buzzer or play the radio in the morning. Well, what I would do was, I had a button on mine that would, you press it for 30 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever you set it to, it would play the radio stations, just play music. And then after 30 minutes was up, it would just turn itself off and get ready to alarm mode. And my alarm was the buzzer. And that's how I used to fall asleep when I was a kid all the time, was by the music. I just can't stand having a room with no sound at all because then my mind starts to wander. And then that's when the insomnia kicks in and then I can't sleep. Where if I have something playing in the background, instead of my mind going nuts and focusing on everything around it and all the different things going on and, you know, paying bills and fixing the car and then and, and house repairs and, and, and brand new inventions and all this other shit and, and what am I going to do in the vlog tomorrow because if I don't have anything on, my mind just starts wondering and then just goes nuts and then I can't sleep. But if I have something playing in the background, my mind focuses on that and doesn't worry about the rest of the bullshit. We're good to go. We're just, we're just that good to go. So that's why I like having music in the background, or at least music. definitely something I've already seen. It's never something I haven't seen. That way there I don't really, I already know what's going to happen, so there's no need to watch it. That's why a lot of the times I fall asleep to Star Trek, because I've seen them all backwards, forwards, and upside down. You can start an episode, show me the first two minutes of the episode, and I'll be like, oh yeah, this is the episode where this happened, or oh yeah, this one here's stupid. Well, this one's not too bad, and yeah, this one here's 7 or 9 was pretty hot in it. But then again, everyone 7 or 9 was pretty hot in it. But you know what I mean, like, but anyway. Yeah, I gotta clear the laundry out because in that far end corner is where I'm gonna put shit from the red room. Mainly, um, just need to clear off the stuff underneath the white long desk. That's the problem. It's all the shite that's underneath it. Like, there's cake boxes of DVDs, like blank DVDs to boot. There's old computer cases. One still works, maybe the other one does too. I gotta have to take a look at that. But anyway, I got some old cases under there. I got some uh, other things, like just stuff that doesn't need to be there. So I'm gonna box it all up, bring it into the bedroom. Then I'm gonna, all I gotta do is, I think it's like six or eight screws. <coughs> oh, freak's sakes. I just need to pull the white planks off the top of the desks and then relocate the desks to the bedroom and put the white planks back on because in the state they're in right now, they would never make it around the corner. So if I take them apart, and they're on wheels too, so that makes it easier, I can just wheel them on in instead of picking them up and carrying them and having them flop apart and become scrap wood. But uh, yeah, so I take them all apart as a long bench, move them into the bedroom, then reassemble them where the bed is right now, and then the bed's gonna go where in the red room where they are right now. Now as for that table in the red room, I'm thinking I might just leave that there, just to put things on and stuff. Like, I don't know what, but figure that out. I'm also thinking about grabbing that corner desk from downstairs, the one that's in the living room, and bringing it upstairs, and not having a desk down there. 
then I got those two computer chairs downstairs. I can bring them up, and I'll have three computer chairs in my bedroom or my, my computer room. You know, I'll have one at the laptop station, which will be the corner desk, one at the gaming station. Well, I'll have theoretically four computer chairs in there for your sakes. I got one in the bedroom, one in the red room. I got uh, two downstairs, so I'd have all four of my computer chairs in the computer room, sitting at each station, ready to be used. You know what? I'd have enough computers where we could actually play Artemis in one room. Set up the projector, blast the freaking view screen on the wall. Oh man, yeah! Just gotta find some nerdy friends who are down with, down with playing some freaking Star Trek, you know? Down with pretending Star Trek. Play space, people. Let's play space. Speaking of space, holy fuck, nobody showed up to work again today. Like, I knew that was happening in our department, but I didn't think it was happening all over the company. People get, not get the memo, today's a full staff day. Oh, well, fuck them. And there we are. We're at work. Some bitch pile of monkey nuts. You see, normally I would give two shits about the fact that I'm parking right on the line. Like, that post is a line marker, and it's dead center of my car. So I'm currently double parked, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. I would normally give a shit, but right now we got, like, so much space available. Not a big deal. But anyway, people, I'm going to head her inside. It's currently 342. I'm going to head her inside and get this shift over with, and I'll talk to you guys at midnight, and we're going to start working on uh, getting the laundry out of the friggin' bedroom, and then maybe tackle some more. We'll see how we feel. All right. Peace to frig out. Holy crap. Sure. Sure, it says minus 18. But let me tell you, that cold just pierces right through your flesh and rattles your bones. Oh, she's brisk out. Well, that was the end of an exciting shift. It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Apparently, over 60% of the staff called in sick today. There was one person working during the day and three of us at night. There's 10 people working upstairs in the tech department. So one person during the day, three people at night, six people called in sick today. Well, five people called in sick, one person uh, is on vacation, so. Sorry for, okay, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go home. I'm freezing right now. I got the shakes. I gotta go home and warm up, and then we'll talk. Let's go home. Holy crap, the weather outside is like, it's weird, it's only 18 minus 18, which, you know, not too bad, not too bad, but it just rips right through you like Wolverine's claws. Freaking hardcore. But uh, <laughs> he's trying to play with his frisbee toy, and she was trying to play with it too. Oh, frig sakes, these two. I'm so happy they get along. You know, if I get Oreo jumping and she sees him, she gets behind him and starts like swatting at his pom pom tail. It's cute. Hey, kitten. Hey, kitten. What are you doing? You gonna attack the Cookie Monster? You thinking about it? Or are you gonna play with that toy? You don't know what to play with? You know what to do? You wanna play with the frisbee, don't you? Here's your dues. Oh, you don't be like that. You share. You little popple. I still got those webcams to unbox and things. Haven't even done that yet. Mainly what I'm thinking about doing tonight. Thought I had garbage bags in this house. Um, thought I did. Yes, I do. So this magnificent, magnificent, holy shit, Adam, smarten up. This magnificent mess needs to be dealt with. That's right. I'm gonna go through this and get rid of it as much as possible because like I said, I wanna put that white desk in the other room here and then put my bed in the other room. Is that gonna happen tonight? Oh, probably not, probably not. But uh, I definitely wanna get shit cleaned up and get shit going and make shit better and have a cleaner environment and things. I'm thinking about also hanging my swords up on the walls and stuff, maybe, I don't know, probably not. They're easier to get to when they're not hung up, but anyway, I got all this shit to dig through. Should be fun. So what I'm thinking is I might put on Dexter. I'm currently watching season eight. I'm on episode 10. Season eight is in fact the last season of uh, Dexter. So I just wanted to finish that off and while I'm doing that I'm gonna start dicking around with all this bullshit behind me. So let's hammer down. Well I got all the clothes cleaned up. Yep. Just gotta clean up the extra odds and ends. Um, I kinda sorta filled up two garbage bags. One with potential rags and one with well clothes that belong in the dump yep and i got my hamper full of shit that needs to be washed i got a load in the washer right now this is probably like another three freaking loads and i got a whole bunch of towels i need to wash as well frig sakes that were buried in this mess <coughs> i'm gonna go ahead and do all that and uh get all that oh washed up it's freaking hot in here right now and i don't want to open the door because then kitten comes in and she's so destructive that she just has to friggin attack anything that she looks at so yeah, that's why I got that fan going to circulate air. This fan going to circulate air. This fan needs a desperate cleaning, some bitch. Holy, 
didn't even realize how bad it was until I looked at it on camera. Because in the darkness, it doesn't look so bad, eh? But whatever. But next step is grab my luggage, put that somewhere where it's out of sight until I need it, and then clean up the corner there with all the pillows. When I bring this bed into the other room, one of these tables is going in there too, so I got an end table with a freaking clock on it so I can tell what time it is and when I gotta wake up and things. But it's currently almost, well, holy shit, it is almost two o'clock in the morning. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut her down here and call her quits for now and uh, do a bunch of laundry and probably a little bit more clean up around the house and stuff and get things all straight in the frig out and, and other things. I'm not moving the bed tonight, that's for sure. I'm gonna slowly do it piece by piece throughout the week as I get off work and get things did. And uh, yeah, cause what I plan on doing, like I said, I'm gonna bring that corner desk from downstairs upstairs and put it over there in that corner. And then I can set up laptops on it or whatever. And then I'm gonna put the white table from the other room in here, across here, leave that desk there clean it off obviously and put my video game uh, computer my XPS 8300 on there but I'm thinking about putting the PlayStation 3 back in that corner and hooking the Hopage up to a laptop and then using the, the Hopage on the laptop to uh, capture all the video feed seeing how I capture everything to a USB portable hard drive and then I edit it on a separate machine I think that'd be the best idea ever and then I'll have my XPS 8300 in here XPS 9000 right here and uh, a bunch of uh, other things back there like uh, the laptop setups and the PlayStation 3 and the 20 inch television for the PS3 and all that nonsense and then over here I'd have my bench with whatever else set up on it I haven't figured that much out yet but uh, all in all I think it's gonna be pretty sweet and then I'll have all my computers in here and then in the other room all I'll have is my bed maybe I'm thinking my my netbook that I bought that little piece of shit uh, Acer one Aspire the uh, one with the 2.6 gigahertz friggin and dual core. Thinking about putting that in the other room, hooking it up to a cheap little Walmart $150 TV by uh, HDMI and using that to play movies at night. That would probably be pretty decent. I was thinking about picking up one of those like Roku's or or like um, like an Apple TV or, or something like that but it's like why buy something when I already have enough equipment in this house to do the job already? It doesn't make sense. So I'm just gonna hook up the, probably that thing in there hook it up to the TV and that can stream my, my movies off my uh, server, that can stream Netflix, that can play YouTube videos, no problems, like it works fine. So I'm probably going to do that for that and then uh, it'll be pretty rock solid. So one thing at a time, one day at a time, everything will get straightened out right now. I'm watching Arrow on the uh, the Netflix. I figured I'd save Dexter for when I could pay attention to it because it's getting really interesting and I don't want to be distracted while watching that because it's a pretty freaking awesome show. And uh, yeah, so like I said, still got some more cleanup to do. Unfortunately, garbage day, you're only allowed three bags at the end of the road and I think garbage day for me is pushed ahead through to Friday because of New Year's Day this Wednesday. So I'm going to keep picking at this and keep giving her stink. So if you like today's video, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns down below they go. And until next time, keep on vlogging.